Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for making the Santabella crochet shawl pattern. This gorgeous shawl is worked in four colors of Biso Sporty yarn, but it would be equally as beautiful in a solid color too. The addition of nine gold ball beads at the edge adds an additional bohemian flair that is one of a kind. You will need 650 yards of number two sport weight yarn, an I-9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle, scissors, and optionally, you will need nine one half inch gold ball beads. This pattern is shown in Be So Sporty yarn in colorway Sunkissed Yellow, Tropical Hot Coral, Caribbean Turquoise, and Million Dollar Red. This is what your work should look like at the end of row eight. You should have 21 decrease stitches. Row nine begins with the beginning shell in the first chain two space. And then our repeat for this row is chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space. We'll do that two times. So chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space. Whoops. And then chain five, single crochet in the next chain one space. So our repeat for this row is chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain one space. You want to repeat this all the way across. Last repeat, you want to skip the last single crochet in the last chain one space. We're just going to do the chain five and work a shell in the last shell. And this is what, and this is what your work should look like. At the end of row nine, you should have 21 chain five spaces. Row 10 begins with slip stitch into the first chain two space and work a beginning shell in the shell. Chain two, seven double crochets in the next chain five space. Chain five, seven double crochets in the next chain five space. Chain two, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain two, seven double crochets in the next chain five space, chain two, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain two, seven double crochets in the next chain five space, then chain five, Skip the next chain five space and work seven double crochets in the next chain five space. And we're going to repeat that three more times. Chain five, skip chain five space, then seven double crochets in the next chain five space. So we'll do that three more times. Chain two, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain two, seven double crochets in the next chain five space, Chain two, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain two, seven double crochets in the next chain five space, chain five, seven double crochets in the next chain five space, chain two, and work a shell in the last chain two space. This is what your work should look like at the end of row 10. And at this point you should have 11 sets of seven double crochet shells. Row 11 is a repeat of row seven. The only difference is we have more multiples of the repeat this time. So we start our row the same way we start all the rows with a beginning shell in the first chain two space. Then chain two, one double crochet into each of the next three double crochets. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet. 
one double crochet into each of the next three double crochets. chain two and you want to repeat that all the way across. At the end of the last repeat you want to work a shell in the last chain two space and this is what your work should look like at the end of row 11. Row 12 is going to be a repeat of row 8 only we will have more multiples across the row so we start with slip stitch into the first chain two space and chain three and work our beginning shell and then our repeat is a chain one, double crochet four together over the next four stitches, chain five, double crochet four together all in the next chain three space, chain five, double crochet four together over the next four double crochets, and chain one. And you want to repeat that all the way across. At the end of the last repeat, you finish the row with a shell in the last chain two space. And this is what the end of row 12 should look like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all about anything we talked about in this video, please leave them for me in the comments. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.